Imagine being sent to space for a week and then being stuck there for nine months, living in zero gravity. Scary as it may sound, that's exactly what happened to Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore. The two NASA astronauts were stranded on the International Space Station due to technical issues with their Boeing Starliner spacecraft. On Saturday, the process to bring Williams and Wilmore back to Earth began with a collaborative mission between NASA and SpaceX. While the world celebrates this initiative, it's crucial to understand the challenges the two astronauts will face once they return to Earth's gravity. From muscle atrophy to bone density loss and cardiovascular strain, their bodies will have to readapt to Earth's atmosphere after spending months in space. First of all, staying in space itself is not easy. Imagine if you have a thousand square foot or two thousand square foot house in which you are locked up for nine months with three or four people. So emotionally it is very draining. Secondly, everybody has their own um, personalities and characteristics and these are not family, these are, they are in some sense strangers. So emotionally it is very taxing. Physically it is taxing because a lot of work has to be done. Third uh, taxing comes from the fact that you are in zero gravity. Astronauts who have traveled on space missions earlier have reported facing difficulty in walking, having bad eyesight, dizziness and a condition called baby feet where space travelers lose the thick part of the skin on the soles that become soft like a baby's. According to experts, while living in zero gravity, bones lose density, increasing the risk of fractures. In addition, muscle atrophy occurs due to reduced effort in microgravity, making simple activities like standing and walking surprisingly challenging. Astronauts may also be more susceptible to infection and illness due to a suppressed immune system. When you stay long enough in space, you are facing microgravity all the time. Because your uh, International Space Station is going around the Earth, when you are inside it, you are also moving with it, so you are in a state of weightlessness. When we are in a weightlessness state, then the problem is that uh, our muscles don't work uh, with that kind of efficiency and gradually muscular atrophy uh, starts setting in. Bone density is getting lost because when we are walking on the earth, we are working on the earth, our body is all the time working against gravity. So there is sufficient strength in our system and therefore we can sustain ourselves for whatever length of time uh, in, in life we get. In addition, the human brain requires significant recalibration when transitioning between Earth and space environments. Weather permitting, the SpaceX capsule carrying Williams and Wilmore will undock from the space station no earlier than Wednesday and splash down off Florida's coast, ending nine months of an anxious wait for the astronauts' return to Earth. Thank you.